Well, Chevy. How's it feel to be seven years old? It was your birthday yesterday. Yeah. Look at that majestic tail. It's a seven-year-old tail. Don't look a day over three. Let's go outside. Get this day started. It's a big day today. It's a truck show. So good morning everybody. Today is the day of the PBX Country Living Truck Show in Blumenort, Manitoba. I'm really excited. Just getting myself cleaned up today. Getting the truck ready to go. It's already all clean. We had it cleaned at Large Car Truck Spa yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video. Today, it's a day to hang out, have fun, listen to some good music, look at some nice trucks. Following my dad on our way to PBX right now. Hopefully we can get two spots side by side. We're here. Now we're just gonna have to figure out where to park. number 46. So if you were here, I hope you all voted for number 46. <laughs> so yeah. 
So we just finished with lunch. Absolutely delicious. And this was the grand opening of their Grandpa's Cafe, right at their location. This is a public restaurant right here in Blumenor. You guys should come check it out. Look at this. So we had the lunch out here in front of their building. And uh, these are our friends, Rick and Sabrina. This is an electric Peterbilt. So electric and Peterbilt is not two words you commonly find in one sentence. But uh, that's what it looks like. So here we got our antique class lined up right here. Quite a few trucks that showed up. We got more back there. We'll get to them. But this is our antique class. Let's take a look at them. I'm getting a personal tour through the shop where all the magic happens. This is where all the magic happens, right? <laughs> Not all of it. All Some of it. Stuff. There's more yet. Yeah, this is Maple Leaf's newest unit. Oh, they yeah. brought in, getting it all put together and spec'd out the way they want it. Everything down, everything but the wet kit. We're set. And, uh, I think we just installed a DTO pump, and so that's about it. Everything else gets done at the public Nice. So we have a ton of new units even in on the other side that we That would be perfect for that. That does look like a bar tap, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not. And it had the chunk right there too, and I'm like, oh my goodness, it totally looks like a bar tap. <laughs> you know, that would actually make the day so much better. Yeah, yeah, so much more fun at work that way. Exactly. <laughs> So this is where Old Blue spends some of his time. And this is their, their old shop. Well, they still use it. Their older shop. We're uh, going into the newer section now, I believe. Much bigger. Here we are. Literally pulled up the engine and everything. It was stripped down to bare shell. Paint, obviously painted everything you can see he's got. Twin turbo net and everything. Wow. Yeah, and we did we did all the work at the body shop. Yes. Down to the tuning, which he's sounds like he's got to take it out again for more tuning yet. Didn't know we were getting a car show too. Yeah, I know. And a bike show. And a bike show. Oh, there's bikes over there. Yeah. yeah. The wow. <laughs> so this is the side of the shop. I think that old blue spends more of more of his time in when it's in the shop. Yeah, the majority of it. 
the bigger side of it, their new addition. But, oh yeah, you guys got a crane up there and everything, five ton crane. And they also have some, uh, West Trans has a couple of displays over on the other side there. Oh right, yeah. Transmissions and brake systems and stuff like that. But they're going off now. Very nice. Yeah. Even the interior of this thing is custom. I'm not a Ford guy, but I'll make an exception. That is beautiful. So there's an auction happening soon. There's a hot tub. There's a smoker. It went all out. And then that section back there is the show and shine section. And this section here is the working class. You can see Old Blue's nose sticking out right over there beside my dad's truck. Here's the working class section. And there's Old Blue right beside my dad's truck. Give another shout out here to Rob. He's around here somewhere too. We'll find him. Give him a call. Get your appointment to get your truck done. So I'm number 46. I think I showed you that earlier today, right? I'm expecting you all to vote 46. <laughs> There's a lot of nice trucks here though. I mean, got my buddy down on the end here. Uh, you can find him on uh, Instagram. But this one here, remember uh, yesterday that other truck came to get detailed when I was done? That was this truck. This is my buddy on uh, Instagram. You can find him. He's called Black in Chrome. He's got his Instagram handle on his window here. You'll find him on Instagram. I'm going to be honest with you right now because you're not going to see this till after the show is done, anyways. I'm putting my vote in for him. That's a nice truck. Truck 42. This is another one of my buddy's trucks. I love this grill. Look at that. That's awesome. That's the first time I've seen that. That must be new. He keeps his truck clean too. You know, I've got to say, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I should be casting my vote for him. I like that grill cover. Oh, that might just win my vote. Look at this, look how clean this is. He just added this recently. I was talking to him earlier. I don't know, I might just vote for him because of that. Now I gotta, now I gotta debate. He's number 40. He's number 40, oh, is he 42? I can't vote for myself, right? That's not right. Pavement princesses, yeah. This is the show truck section. Look at this. Oh, of course, Jade. Should have called that. <laughs> These guys got beautiful trucks, every single one. Every single one of their trucks is a pavement princess. Just some of them are actual working pavement princesses and others are just show trucks. Wherever there's a truck show, you'll find Jade. Great company to work for, too. I know some people that work there, and they all have good things to say. Great things to say, actually. Look at that. Let's see what else there is here. Look at this, eh? If only. Can you imagine? Oh. There's another beautiful cab over over there. Look at that. Hey, Trucker Josh. Hi. <laughs> 
How's it going? Pretty good. Good? First time meeting you in person. Oh, nice yeah. to meet you guys too. There you go. Hey, you guys yeah. want to be in the vlog? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want to introduce yourself to everybody? I'm Greg Dirksen. And it's Chestnut. Justin Cron. Well, it's good to see you guys. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, Steinbeck. Okay, good. Yeah. So you're right local. Where's that? Winnipeg originally, but Winnipeg? then I moved to Steinbeck because it was nicer out here. It is nicer, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're from out here too? Yeah. Nice. Right on. One thing I noticed on this, one single windshield, one pane, three wipers. <laughs> this is where the concert's gonna be happening later. It's a great day for this. It's got a nice, we got a nice breeze coming out of the south there, which is blowing up warmer air. Well, there's lots of concert music going on yet, but the night is kind of wrapping up. Dad's getting ready to pull out. He's gonna bring his truck back to his shop. I'll be heading out of here soon too. I'd like to be home in time for, uh, so I can see Theo before he goes to bed. He just got those wheels polished. They look real nice. I think it's the first time he's polished those wheels since he bought the truck. <laughs> there's Old Blue. Like I said, we'll be uh, heading out of here soon. And we're back. You did good, Blue. You did really good. You stood out in the working class. We didn't win, but that's okay. It wasn't about winning. It was about the community coming together. There was a lot of really great charities that this whole event supported. I was proud to be a part of everything that happened there. It was, uh, I wasn't a part of the organizing or part of the event in that way, but I was very proud to be able to be there and support that business, PBX Truck Service, and all of the community charities that they were supporting here as well. It was a great night, and Old Blue's nice and clean. Aside from the headache rack, we still gotta get that polished. I know. I need to show her from the side view for you, right? <clears throat> Right about, right about there. Old Blue is nice and clean and ready for holidays. <laughs> this is where you're going to be parked for about the next two weeks, Blue. So get comfortable. Remember, I still love you. Okay? You enjoy your vacation. Okay? Sleep as long as you want tomorrow. Sleep in, okay? Don't get too crazy. Don't party. Alright, no parties here. Don't invite all your friends over and cause a whole bunch of noise. I don't want to call from the police or anything, okay? You have fun. It's time to go home. I want to see Theo before he goes to bed yet, so. He's being kept up half an hour past his bedtime just for me so I can see him, so I better get home. So I just want to give a special shout out and thank you to PBX Truck Service for putting on this whole event. Special shout out to Grandpa Pet Cow there's that new Grandpa Cafe 
at their location in Blumenort. If you're in the area, make sure you swing by there for some good, authentic Mexican food. I had a really great time. I'm glad you guys put this on. You did a great job. It was absolutely a master show from start to finish. They didn't hold anything back. It's fantastic and uh, I'm proud to say that's where Old Blue gets all the service done. No one else is authorized to touch my truck but PBX. <laughs>